30, a family is hoping the owners of the historic Shivers house in Dublin will save the home they say is falling apart. Our morning reporter Wanye Reese spoke with the family plus the church who owns it right now. Wanye, what'd you find out? Well, good morning to you, Aaron and Kayla. And I found out that back in 2017, the Georgia Trust for Historic Preservation, they actually listed this Shivers house as a place of peril across the state. Now the family, they want the church to step up so they can hopefully save this home. I did it 40 years ago. So you get married in the church, and then you walk up the street to the Shivers house, to our home. Kathleen Wingard Rollins reminisces on the history of her family's home. Grandparents were considered philanthropists in Dublin. Rollins says her grandparents, Mr. and Mrs. O.L. Shivers, lived in the Spanish Revival style house built in the 1920s. She says the house served as a center for social activity for adults and children. My uncle telling hairy woman stories, you know, up in the sleeping porch. And Back in 1991, the house was sold to First Baptist Church of Dublin. Today, the house features a shattered window, loose bricks, and other signs of neglect. Rented it out to people after they quit using it like the Red Cross and different groups rented it. And then after that was over with, which I think was um, about the year 2000, is when there started being no maintenance and it's just really looking bad. People with First Baptist Church of Dublin wouldn't go on camera for an interview. A representative with the church told us they have no plans to sell the home right now. Rollins says this year the family raised $250,000 so the trust could buy the home from the church. We've been working with the church and the church's lawyer for more than three years. And here we are now, and the house is, is really getting bad. She says the family still hopes they can work something out with the church. And in the meantime, it hurts to see their family memories fade away. Oh, once again, Rollins says, says that she is thankful for her, uh, First Baptist Church and she hopes that they can come to some type of agreement. And Aaron and Caitlin, the family has actually created a Facebook page. That's how I found out about this story. Just to give more light of the issue, we'll have a link on our website about that a little bit later on this morning. Live in Dublin, Juan Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Uh, thank you, Anya. Now, the Georgia Trust of Historic Preservation says during the Depression, the Shivers opened their home to struggling teachers in the area as well.